Hello and welcome back to December Daily Day 18. Today I had a little bit of a feast. Literally, it's the place is called Chili Party, so it's like a chili party feast, and it features food from northern China and the Sichuan area. And it's a lot of numbing and spicy food, but we did opt for a little spicy, um, which in Hong Kong or maybe in Chinese culture in general. There are different levels of spicy, so there's small spicy, medium spicy, big spicy, and if you wanted to opt for less, there's something called BB spicy. Uh, but we all were like mala, which is the numbing and spicy um, flavor from Sichuan. We're all mala fans, so we did opt for little spicy, also because we didn't want to struggle with stomach aches the very next day. And I didn't even draw all of the dishes because a lot of it is literally just chili on chili on chili. Um, it's not that spicy. I think they did take out a lot of the seeds. Um, the one that I'm drawing now is kind of like a hot pot or like a soup bowl with a lot of different toppings inside. We had beef slices, we had cognac, we had mushroom. Can't remember what else we had. We had some Chinese vegetables as well. And it was all really, really good. I remember like devouring it and I was filled up quite quickly just from that. So we didn't order any rice because we wanted to eat a lot more. Although we did order as well as a shred potatoes dish. So I guess that counts as our carbs, our carbs dish for the night. Um, and then we also ordered some mapo tofu. We ordered some uh, black fungus mushrooms, some cucumbers, some green beans, uh, stir-fried, and minced pork. All really great dishes, but I wasn't able to draw them all, mainly because I don't even think I drew these three dishes well. Oh, and the one on the top, the one with the circular blobs, is uh, quail century eggs, and they're amazing. I really, really love them. Uh, so the green stuff on top is the coriander garnish. I know that we're very split on corianders and in the group that I was with last night, two of us, including me, really like coriander and two of us didn't. So it was actually quite perfect because the two of us who liked it just stole all the toppings. Anyways, with these kind of dishes or with food in general, I never really know how to draw them because it's always like a lot of elements and I will not really spend all my time drawing each one of them but I don't know how to really like represent them accurately so I think I ended up just trying to draw like abstract strokes and shapes and I just wrote down what the dishes are on the side um, here this is me again going through my sticker pack and then realizing nothing really fits especially because a lot of the page or the spread has already been illustrated especially on the left hand side so I'm just journaling and these dishes, it's so interesting. They're shaped in like six petal flowers, but getting them to be symmetrical is really, really hard. And it's not like I had a stencil or anything. So um, they do look a little bit wonky, but I still liked how it turned out, like the colors and everything. I think it did turn out quite well. The group that I was with yesterday was actually a group of ex coworkers, and we used to work together back in or back until 2018 before all of us kind of moved on to separate jobs and in the case for a couple of us to new jobs after and it's quite a nice feeling to really just take stock of that friendship group and that we still hang out even though we don't even really need to see each other anymore uh i mean we used to see each other every day for work but after all of us kind of quit that company we are under no obligation to continue seeing each other and yet the friendship has lived on since 2018, no, 2022. Um, so I guess more than three years and knowing them, I've known them since 2017. So that's quite a while. I think I'm happy to have friendships that last that long. Um, I know that people are always with a different group of friends in any phase of life. So I personally don't really judge if if friends kind of grow apart from each other because I feel like that just happens like as people grow and people reach different phases of life like there's sometimes you have something less in common and then 
maybe in the future you'll have something more in common again so i've had a lot of high school friends that i wasn't in touch with and then like eight years later suddenly we find some common ground and we're texting again on social media because we saw that we have similar interests but yeah friendship just works in a really interesting and fluid way and i'm just learning to really treasure the ones that i have at the moment without giving any less regard to the ones in the past or the ones that are to come in the future that was a little bit of a friendship um not rant but ramble right there and i think i'm just gonna stop this one right here also because the spread is really simple and i wanted to keep it this way because this was dinner so um, I am kind of recording this late at night so I didn't want to drag on the night for too long because I'm really ready to go to sleep. Especially because I have a full stomach. Alright, that is going to be it from me today. I'll catch you back here for December Daily Day 19 which is tomorrow and is a work day. So I think I'm just going to keep the spread really simple. There's one that I've been really wanting to do. And let's see if I actually do it and have the energy to do it tomorrow. Or if we offer something really simple like a really big typography or something. Oh, actually that's not a bad idea too. I might do that for one of these days. <laughs> Alright, I think this is officially Rambly territory. I am going to stop right here and tuck myself into bed after editing all of this of course. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Bye!